Hi students, today we are going to read You Can Do It, Curious George. We read a Curious George book yesterday. We read Dinosaur Discovery. Well, I want to think about how this book is similar to that book and how it is different. We talked about what makes George curious, how we know he's curious, that he wants to learn more. He's very eager. He just can't wait to find out more or to learn more. And we think about what the character says and does to show us that he's a curious monkey. You can do it, Curious George. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. George loved going to the museum with his friend. I think we saw the same illustration in yesterday's book. It seems to start the very same. George must really like museums. While they were visiting the museum, they saw a sign. The sign said that the museum had won a prize. People voted this museum as their favorite. They said this museum was the best. Well, those are opinion words, favorite, best. So when people vote, they use their opinion to decide which one they like the most. When George saw the sign, he started to think, what could he do best? He decided to find out. You can do it, George, said the man with the yellow hat. George went back home. He was good at drawing dinosaurs. Maybe he could draw the best dinosaur picture ever. So other than being curious, he's also an artist. George decided that he liked to draw, but he wanted to try to do something different. He climbed out the window to look for ideas. And soon, George came to a restaurant. That gave him a great idea. George loved spaghetti. He decided he would make the best spaghetti ever. You can do it, George. Oh my, look at all that spaghetti. George thought it tasted great. He tasted more and more of it and made a big mess. Hmm. Are you surprised that George made a mess? Why? Then the chef came in. Get out, he shouted. Get out of my kitchen. George was going to have to find something else he did best. George needed another idea. He got on a bus to think. The bus took him to the ski slope. Do you know what a ski slope is? Skiing is a sport people do in the winter where there are mountains. They put a big flat stick under their feet and they slide down a mountain and it's called skiing. The mountain that they slide down is called a slope. So he's getting on a bus to think and the bus took him to the ski slope. What do you think might happen with George on a ski slope? What makes you think that? We do know he's curious. Let's find out. That gave George an idea. He grabbed the biggest sled he could find. Maybe he could sled down the hill faster than anyone had ever done before. You can do it, George. At first, sledding was fun. 
Then George started going too fast. Look out, George! George was going to have to find something else he did best. See, these are skis. And that's a sled. Hmm. So he's not the best sledder ever. So he's tried to be an artist, to be the best artist. He tried to make the best spaghetti. He tried to get a world record for being the fastest sledder. Hmm. George needed another idea. Then he remembered something he did better than anyone. He rushed back home. In the earlier book, we had read about George and his curiosity and how that helped the scientist. I wonder if there's a way that his curiosity can help him in this book. We've also read a book before about Curious George and flying a kite. That looks like a kite to me. Let's find out more. So he remembers something he does better than anyone, and he rushes back home. And when he got there, he took out his kite. He was going to be the best kite flyer ever. George got his kite to go higher and higher. You can do it, George. Then the kite lifted George right off the ground. Look out below! George landed in a tree in the forest. His kite flew away without him. George was going to have to find something else he did best. So that didn't work out well for him either. I wonder if there's a way his curiosity could help him in this book. He's really known for being curious. So now he's up in a tree. Just then, George spotted smoke. Oh no, it was a forest fire. See all the animals running away from the smoke? What do you think George is going to do? George wanted to warn everybody about the fire. He raced to town and he found the fire station. The firefighters quickly put out the fire. Whew. By now, the sun was setting. It was too late for George to figure out what he did best. George's friend met him at the back at the museum. The director had heard that George warned everyone about the forest fire. She thought that that was the best thing anyone had done in a long time. George did it. Hooray! He found out what he can do best. He is the best helper. George got a very special prize that day. This book, You Can Do It, Curious George, remind us of other books that we've read about Curious George. How is it the same? And we know that it is similar. There are some things that are the same, but it's not completely the same. There are differences, so it's similar. How is this book different? than the other Curious George books that we've read. Do you think Curious George is a good name for that monkey? Why? Thank you for reading this book with me today. I hope you enjoyed it.